Dante Virtual Soundcard is one of our most popular products widely used to record sessions using Dante in live and studio settings. Dante Virtual Soundcard is software from Audinate that you install onto your Mac or PC. It behaves like a regular hardware sound card in your computer, but instead of connecting to attached hardware, Dante Virtual Sound Card connects to other Dante devices using a regular wired network connection. With Dante Virtual Sound Card, your computer becomes part of the Dante network. You can easily record and play out up to 64 channels of audio directly on your computer using your favorite applications such as Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, and so on. Let's look at the initial adjustment to Dante Virtual Sound Card. When you open the Dante Virtual Sound Card application, you can start or stop the service. Adjustments can only be made while Dante Virtual Sound Card is stopped. Audio channels allow you to set the number of channels to match your project needs, from 2x2 two two up to 64x64. Use only as many channels as needed to reduce unnecessary computational overhead. Dante Latency allows you to set the receiving latency that an application would see relative to the Dante transmitter. This value depends upon computer performance with 4 milliseconds for very good machines and 10 milliseconds for those with lower effective performance. Here's a recommendation. Always start at the default value. Network interface specifies which Ethernet connection Dante Virtual Sound Card will use to connect to a Dante network. In most computers, there is only one, and so this is easy. If you are using Dante Virtual Sound Card on the Windows platform, there are some additional setup elements. Dante Virtual Sound Card can be configured to represent an ASIO or WDM device. ASIO is the third-party solution that is favored by professional audio applications such as Cubase, Nuendo, Pro Tools, and so on. WDM is the common Windows system audio driver used by consumer applications such as iTunes or Amazon Music Player. ASIO is developed by Steinberg as a higher performance audio driver interface for professional applications on the Windows platform. It is not part of the Windows operating system and so is unavailable to all applications. Audinate works closely with Steinberg to ensure that Dante Virtual Sound Card conforms to their specification. If you elect to use the WDM drivers in Dante Virtual Sound Card, keep in mind that this configuration is limited to 16 by 16 channels. WDM channels are always presented by Windows as stereo pairs. Each pair appears as a two-channel device in Windows Sound Settings. On Macs using OS X, Dante Virtual Sound Card appears as a regular Core Audio device. Core Audio is used in OS X to support both pro and consumer applications. Dante Virtual Sound Card may be designated as the default sound device if desired. Unlike Dante hardware devices, Dante Virtual Sound Card does not generate a PTP clock that may participate in Dante clock elections. Your computer must be connected to a network that contains Dante hardware devices or a running copy of Dante Via software on another computer to receive a clock. This means that a network composed of only computers running Dante Virtual Sound Card cannot be used to transport audio. Dante Via and Dante Virtual Sound Card cannot run simultaneously on the same computer.
When that a virtual sound card is turned on, it appears to be a regular audio device to your computer, just like any audio hardware you might connect via USB. To connect, launch Dante Virtual Sound Card, set the necessary number of channels, start Dante Virtual Sound Card using the Start button. How does Dante Virtual Sound Card appear as a device? On a Mac operating system, Dante Virtual Sound Card appears as a standard core audio device. On a Windows PC, Dante Virtual Sound Card supports either ASIO or WDM. In the audio application you wish to use, connect to Dante Virtual Sound Card exactly as you would any physical sound device. First, you open the audio preferences for the application. Then, choose Dante Virtual Sound Card from the list of possible audio devices to use as source and destination. To subscribe channels, open the Dante controller. When Dante Virtual Sound Card is turned on, your computer will appear in Dante controller like any other Dante device. The name of the Dante device is the same as your computer's name. This can be changed in Dante controller like any other Dante device. The computer will display the number of transmitter and receiver channels configured in Dante Virtual Sound Card above. Subscribe these channels like any other Dante device to send or receive audio. For example, to record a show from a mixer, we configure that mixer to send direct outputs to its Dante card. We then subscribe those Dante transmitter channels to the receiving channels of Dante Virtual Sound Card and send the audio directly to our digital audio workstation. Note, the sample rate for Dante Virtual Sound Card is adjusted using the device view of Dante controller exactly like Dante Hardware Devices.